The ideals of the Equality Scholarship Collaborative are as important to me as they were to my late husband, Dan Barber. I joined the collaborative in the late 1990s when I was chair of Kaiser Permanente's LGBT plus employee group and as Kaiser began sponsoring equality scholarships. To support the important mission of the collaborative, I am now sponsoring a scholarship in both Dan's and my names. I'm pleased to introduce the 2023 Rasmussen Barber Scholar, who is finishing her second year at UCSF School of Medicine. As an undergraduate at UCLA, she performed outreach and trained other students for the LGBTQ Campus Resource Center and was a research intern at the school's Williams Institute. In the first year of COVID, she also created a virtual space for bi-pan fluid students. To recognize her work, she was awarded the 2020 Curtis Shepard UCLA LGBTQ Leadership Award. As a medical student, she is a co-founder of UCSF's Pediatric Asylum Clinic, the first in the country, where about half of the clients cite their LGBT plus identity as a reason for seeking asylum. According to her UCSF mentor, she is an extraordinarily skilled, driven, hardworking, and incredibly passionate individual whose dedication to serving the LGBTQ and immigrant communities will make her an exceptional advocate and physician. Please welcome Sohini Halder. That was far too tall for me. <laughs> Thank you, Keith, so much for that kind introduction. Um, hi, everyone. Good afternoon. I'm Sohini Halder, and I am so honored to be here today to accept the Equality Scholarship and the Rasmus and Barber Scholarship. Thank you so much. Um, I want to express my deepest gratitude um, for this generous contribution and just having the unwavering belief in my potential. This recognition holds immense significance for me as it not only provides vital financial support for my medical education, and we know how expensive that can be, but it also acknowledges the crucial role of LGBTQ leadership in the medical field. Growing up in a quite conservative Indian household, I faced the daunting task of navigating my bisexual queer identity while also navigating all of the other expectations that were held of me as a woman. I've struggled and I've suffered through this journey, but these experiences have fueled my motivation to serve marginalized communities, um, particularly LGBTQ refugees and asylum seekers here in the US. Today, I am pursuing a medical education at UCSF with a clear purpose to become a compassionate and empathetic physician ready to provide medical evaluations for those seeking legal safety in the United States. So I wanted to share with you a little bit of the joy that I get to see in this work. Um, I recently received the news that one of my clients, a transgender woman from Guatemala who was discriminated against due to her gender identity and her indigenous identity, um, recently was granted asylum here in SF. Um, so. So it's, it's moments like these and clients like this that really motivate and drive my work. And it reminds me of the transformative power that we hold as people. Um, two years from now, I hope to graduate from UCSF School of Medicine and go into OBGYN and hopefully continue elevating the voices of queer and transgender black and brown immigrants um, and kind of elevate their voices in our often unforgiving medical system. I'm committed to challenging cis heteronormativity and transphobia that persist within our medical institutions and to fostering an inclusive and safe environment for all of us. I'm honored to be a part of this generation and be part of a future that celebrates diversity, advocates for justice, and creates a world where everyone, regardless of their background, finds solace, safety, peace, and joy. So thank you so much. Appreciate it. <laughs> 